Good morning students. Hearty welcomes to Adarsh Vidyalaya Meditation Online Classes. Welcome to all children. Class 8. Subject Science. Unit 2. Forces and Pressure. Today we are going to study about Atmospheric Pressure. So far we studied about the pressure. Pressure exerted by atmosphere is called Atmospheric Pressure. Before we talk about atmospheric pressure, we should know about the atmosphere. What is atmosphere? Atmosphere is nothing but the layers of air which surrounds the earth. There are many layers of atmosphere exist after several kilometers from the surface of the earth. The layers of atmosphere are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. All objects on the surface of the earth experience the thrust or force due to this atmosphere. We can try to understand the concept of atmospheric pressure in this way. Imagine this lengthy object is atmosphere. This lengthy object is going to exert some pressure over a particular area. We consider this area as unit area. So, the force or weight exerted by this atmospheric air on unit surface area of the surface of the air is known as atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure can be measured using the device called barometer. The barometer was invented by Tori Selly. With the help of barometer, he measured the atmospheric pressure. This is what a simple barometer looks like. It consists of a small narrow thick glass tube about 1 meter or 100 centimeter long. This tube closed at one end and opened at the other end. Initially, this tube is filled with mercury till the brim. So, there is no air bubbles exist inside. After filling mercury, the tube is carefully inverted into a trough containing mercury without allowing any air to enter. After place the tube in the trough, it will be noticed the level of the mercury drops little. If we measure the length of the mercury from the surface of the trough till the point of the mercury level in the tube, it is equal to 76 centimeter or 760 millimeter. Even if you tilt the tube, the level of mercury won't vary. At sea level, the height of the mercury will be around 76 cm. This is called one atmosphere. We studied in the previous lesson, the unit of unit for pressure in SI system is Newton per meter square or Pascal. The pressure equivalent to the 76 cm column of mercury is approximately 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. Next, let's see an activity to understand the effect of atmospheric pressure. Take a conical flask. Take a well boiled egg and remove its shell. Place the egg on the mouth of the flask. It will not end the flask. Next, you remove the flask. Remove the egg. Take a piece of paper, burn it and drop it inside the flask. Wait for a few seconds. Let it burn fully. Now, keep the egg again on the mouth of the flask. Wait for a few minutes. What do you observe? We can see the egg placed at the mouth of the flask gets compressed and it falls into the flask due to the atmospheric pressure. The reason is, when the paper is burning inside the flask, the oxygen present inside the conical flask is used for its combustion. We all know oxygen is necessary for burning. This reduces the atmospheric pressure of the air in the flask. The air in the atmosphere tends to occupy the low pressure region in the flask and rushes through the mouth of the flask. Thus, it pushing the air into the flask. Eventually, the egg falls down to the bottom of the flask. Next is forces in liquids. 
buoyant force of a liquid what is buoyant force this also we can understand by performing a simple experiment take a tumbler of water and cork push the cork in the water what do you observe the cork rises up and come to the surface as soon as we release it now to keep it beneath the surface of water we need to exert downward force this means that the cork is experiencing an upward force the upward force is due to the force exerted by the water the upward force exerted by the water on a floating or a partly submerged body is called buoyant force the phenomenon is known as buoyancy the upward force decides whether an object will sink or float if the weight of the object is lesser than the upward force the object will float if not it will sink manometer youtube manometer is an instrument used for measuring the differences in liquid pressure in the previous lesson we studied barometer used to measure the atmospheric pressure this is youtube manometer used to measure the differences in liquid pressure pressure exerted by liquids liquids exert a pressure not only on the base of the container or vessel but also on its side walls the pressure exerted by a liquid depends upon the depth let us perform certain activities to explain liquid pressure first activity pressure exerted by a liquid on the base of the container depends upon the height of the liquid column take a glass tube that is open at both ends fix a rubber balloon at the lower end of the tube put some water into the tube and observe the balloon now pour some more water into the balloon and again observe the balloon the balloon starts bulging upwards the bulge increases with an increase in the height of the water column the pressure exerted by a liquid at the bottom of a container depends on the height of the water liquid column in it the second activity is explains liquids exert the equal pressure in all directions at a given depth Let's prove this fact by making a simple water fountain. Now let's see if water would flow with same speed from multiple holes at the same height. So for that we are going to make holes at the same height. Let's say this is hole number 1. This is hole number 2. This is hole number 3. And this is hole number 4. Like how we did last time, this time also we are going to make holes of same size. So you see, we have created four holes of same size at the same height for this container. So now again, we will fill this with water. But before that, let's close the holes. Let's open the holes, and this time, just observe the flow of water. So here, you see that the water is flowing out with the same speed from all the flow four holes. So if I rotate it this way, you see that we have made a beautiful fountain, and this time. There is no difference in pressure, so that shows that whatever we had uh, discussed just now, that pressure is dependent on height. So it doesn't matter what the shape of the vessel is, if the height is same, then the pressure would also be the same. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and share it. Subscribe to our channel to get daily updates. Thank you. The next activity is liquid pressure varies with the depth. A wooden block kept on a table exerts a force on it, and we know that the wooden block is a solid substance. What about liquids? 
We know that liquids are kept in containers. Do liquids or fluids exert pressure? Yes, they do. They exert pressure on the base and the walls of the container in which they are enclosed. The pressure on the base will be downwards and on the walls the pressure will be sidewards. We can also derive something interesting if we look at the fluid in terms of layers. Say there's water kept in a plastic container. Let's divide the fluid into five equal parts. You can see that the second layer of water is holding the weight of the first layer. Similarly, the third layer is holding the weight of the first as well as the second layer. And the fourth layer is holding the weight of the top three layers and so on and so forth. So clearly, the pressure at the bottommost layer is the maximum. There's even a way you can find this out. Near the topmost layer, make a little hole at the side. You'll see that the water flows out from that hole like this. It doesn't roll along the walls, it flows out at an angle. Now let's make a second hole near the layer under it. You'll see that the water flows out at a wider angle as compared to the earlier case. We continue to make holes in the wall and we'll notice that the water literally squirts out. This proves that the pressure at the bottom is much more than the pressure at the topmost layer. What about the upward force exerted by a liquid? How do we understand that? We will see that in our next video. A wooden block kept on a table ex Homework. Students are asked to study these questions and write us form test. Answering one or two sentences. First question, what is atmospheric pressure? Second, define one atmosphere. Third, what is bion force? Answering detail, describe an experiment to prove that the pressure in a liquid increases with depth. Thank you.